Hi everybody, this is Mike, and it's been over a year since I did my last collection video. So, um, I didn't get many games this year, but um, I figured, you know, it's been a year, you know, I do have games now that I didn't have in the previous year, so I figured I will go ahead and do a, uh, a uh, updated video game collections video. So, here we go. Max Payne 3. If you wonder why I'm not really going into detail on a lot of these games, it's because I already talked about them in previous videos, so please check those out if you want me to talk more about them. I will be talking about games I haven't gotten yet in those videos, So, um, but for the for the games I have shown in, in, in my previous videos, I'm just going to breeze through them. Lost Planet Extreme Condition. Brutal Legend. Come on, get in there. The Walking Dead Season 1. Mirror's Edge. Bullet Storm. Great campaign. Dead Rising. Fallout 3, Left 4 Dead 2, I need to play that again, that game was fun, um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Bayonetta, better on the 360 by the way, sucks on the PS3. Clive Barker's Jericho. And unfortunately, I have a, uh, a few Xbox 360 games that don't have the original case, sadly. And that's Ghostbusters. Deus Ex Human Revolution. Spec Ops The Line. Very underrated game, and speaking of underrated games, here's another underrated game. Enslaved, Odyssey to the West. Um, need for Speed, Hot Pursuit. I'm getting dust everywhere here, I need to dust this, this, this shelf here. Battlefield, Bad Company 2. Battlefield 3. Condemned, the original Condemned. Alan Wake. Really looking forward to uh, Quantum Break. Dragon Age Origins. It even comes with uh, Awakening. The orange box comes with Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2, Episodes 1 and, and 2, uh, the original Portal, and Team Fortress 2. Fable 2. Fear. Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 2, and Mass Effect 3. Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite. Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim, another game you should not you should avoid on the PS3 if you can. Arcade compilation disc. Far Cry 3. Ugh, gotta move here. 
Transformers War for Cybertron. Ah, uh, this isn't good. Let me move this. I have to move some things a bit here. Hold on. I am very impatient, as you can tell by that. Um, ah! Sorry to waste your time. Where were we? Red Dead Redemption. Gears of War. Gears of War 2. Gears of War 3. Halo 3. Halo Reach. Halo 4. Dead Space. Dead Space 3. Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. And Borderlands. That is the X those are my Xbox 360 games. Next up, my PS3 collection. Assassin's Creed 2. Beyond Two Souls. Grand Theft Auto 4 and uh, episodes from Liberty City. Skate 3. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. NHL 08. Portal 2. Um, L.A. Noir, very underrated game in my opinion. A lot of people said it was repetitive, but um, that's because you try to play it all at once. If you play it, you know, in in segments, um, and like especially if it's a long, if you have long, when you get to the longer cases, um, this game is actually very, very, very awesome. I love this game. It doesn't have a lot of replay replay value, but the first time you go through it is incredible. UFC 2009 Undisputed. Gran Turismo 5. Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. MLB 08 The Show. Madden NFL 09. Catherine, Killzone 2, Killzone 3, um, I really like the the addition of bots in this, and I also like that you can choose to play with Call of Duty controls, makes this game easier than the second, the only disappointing thing is they, they kept the 6-axis controls when you have to turn lovers, and those and six axis controls for the most part are too hard for me. And the only time I enjoyed using six axis was during Flower. Little Big Planet 2. This is a special edition. Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter 4. Dead Space 2 comes with Dead Space Extraction, I think, yep. Heavy Rain. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. NBA 2K11. Heavenly Sword. Um, this game was fun until I got to the 6 axis part, and then I stopped. Journey comes with Flower, Flow, and um, some mini games. SSX, misplaying this. God of War Saga comes with God of War 1, 2, 3, 
the Vita games, not the Vita games, uh, the PSP games, and uh, yeah, Chains of Olympus, Ghost of Sparta. It, basically, it's every God of War game except for Ascension, because this came out before Ascension did. Infamous. The Uncharted Dual Pack comes with Uncharted 1, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, and Uncharted 2. Hold on a second, I can put this back. Again, sorry to waste your time. Shouldn't take me too, too long, though. Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Batman Arkham Asylum. Batman Arkham City. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. This is basically Smash Brothers with PlayStation characters. Resistance Fall of Man. Resistance 2, in case you don't know yet, um, the, there is no more online multiplayer in the Resistance games. They took them off. Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. Um, when I played Eco on the PS2, I couldn't figure it out, but I played on the PS3, and for some reason I was able to figure it out. And um, Eco turned out to be um, easier than I thought it was going to be. Shadow of the Colossus was the exact opposite. It's harder than I thought because the controls are very different. It definitely takes... There's definitely a learning curve with it, but it is worth it because these stories are just beautiful. Beautiful stories, great visuals, and they're poetic. They're so simplistic that they say so much. And um, that's how you can tell you have a work of art in your hands. So check these out if you can. When you get, If you ever get a chance to do so, you might want to hurry before the PlayStation 3 goes away. Um... Get these games and get them now. Uh, hold on a second. Hello? Hello? Sorry about that. And I don't know how to edit things out, so um, here, let's continue. We have Midway Arcade Origins. It's a bunch of Midway Arcade games um, in once. So there's like a whole bunch of them, so if you love classic arcade games, definitely check them out. What i got to say, though, is I really... What's interesting is that um, if you play some of these games on easy, you basically... It's like having unlimited quarters. So I was actually able to beat Pit Fighter, which is not an easy game. So that's pretty cool. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 comes with Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom, uh, um, actually Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, it's the final, it's the, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, and, um, the cutscenes for Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 Days. The second, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 just came out, and it's got a bunch of games on it as well. That's it PS3, now we're going on to PS PlayStation 4. Alien Isolation, very scary game. It actually starts out um, pretty pretty simple and pretty pretty relaxing, but once once the enemy starts showing up, things get tense and it just doesn't stop. If you want edge of your seat nail biting tension, play this. This is the Evil Within, and I have to say what's weird interesting about the Evil Within is that um, on the Evil Within. The combat is hard, and the stealth is easy. The exact opposite of how most games are for me. Injustice Ultimate Edition. Basically a fighting game with uh, DC characters, but it actually has a really good story. Uh, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, and this is the Definitive Edition because the frame rate is twice as fast on this in this version than it is on the Xbox One version. And uh, here's and this is the Last of Us remastered. This game is so good you'll buy it twice. I actually traded in the my old version for this one. And um, yeah, it, it, you gotta check this game out. Last of Us is a masterpiece. Now finally the Xbox One games. 
Watch Dogs. Um, it's a good game, but it's not a great game. It's not this, this breakthrough thing. It's basically GTA with hacking, but um, I do like this game. I did have some fun playing it. Uh, and this is uh, Titanfall. Excellent multiplayer uh, shooter. It's fast-paced. It's unique. And um, once again, it set the bar, I think, for shooters. It didn't do as... It wasn't as... Six, as, uh, as... I don't know how to, what to say, but it's, this game didn't leave the same impact that uh, Call of Duty 4 did. Still a good game, though. It's still a lot of fun. And finally... Grand Theft Auto 5. I will say that the online is still broken, at least... But at least I can play a closed session. I can't play an, uh, an open public session, but I can play a closed section. So or, so I would give the original Grand Theft Auto V a 9.0 and give this one a 9.5. And guess what? You There are not only bunnies in this version, but you can be one. You can be a bunny. And um, one more thing I'll say on this is the first person mode is incredible, at least when you're walking. I really don't like it for driving. But for walking, it's like it's it feels very Elder Scrolls like. It really does. It's so immersive. Love this. Game. And that is it. Now this this is my updated video game collections video, and um, that's all I got to show for you guys right now. And um, hopefully I will do another one next year. Take care.